hi everyone welcome back to my channel today is friday so it's another episode of our weekly homeschool activities um you know we do workbox system and shelf work activities that are mostly montessori inspired so let me go ahead and show you before i want to let you know this week we did uh focus on science and we learned about snow as you can tell so we took a like sneak peek into the water cycle but specifically uh, focused on how snow is formed, when it occurs, and different types of water, um, you know, water, t water um, forms and st things like that. So let me start showing you our workbox system. This up here in this basket, I changed it. Uh, I keep all the books to read for the week. So I pick PB Bear, the snow ride, the jacket I wear in the snow, the cloud book, sun and rain. This is for a phonic program, so I just use the reader, the readers for that, not the program. Uh, snow day, snow play. This is a baby book, but she won't get rid of it. She really likes it. Winter fun, bear snores on, winter survivor, weather, I am snow, play of penguins, earth's water, all to build a snowman and Antarctica so we didn't get to read all of them but we, we will do that eventually um, we did a little bit of a change to the war box system we don't do daily binders anymore I mean to be honest with you we we're only maybe doing two or three sheets of the binder so it was like a waste of time I just moved on from we moved on from that um, we might use them maybe next year, uh, just a different way. Maybe we add a lot of activities for her the, in the binder, but for now we're just not using that anymore. So up here we I put all the Bible stuff. I had it somewhere else, but instead I added it up here. This is a daily uh, activities that we do with her from the church that we go to. Like we teach this story. I'm sorry, this story. And then there's uh, one activity for each day of the week to do at home with her. I'm the teacher there at the church. So I'm her teacher at church, I'm her teacher at home. Um, so yeah, so we're doing that daily anyways. And then I bought this for her to do like once a week. Like we focus on one topic each week. And this is the 28 beliefs or the fundamental beliefs of the church that we go to, it's Seven Day Adventist, and it's in Spanish. So each activity it corresponds to each belief and it's pretty neat. I love that. So that's the Bible stuff. And then the workbook where she does handwriting, phonics, and some math. Uh, she's done with the alphabets and stuff like that. She's doing patterns, shapes, um, and she's starting to make her own sentence in here. So, and she's uh, reviewing the short vowel sounds. So, then is the Alpha Phonics program and the Dodge Sight Words. Then the fourth drawer is where I keep whatever we're doing, we're working on for that week, which is could be science or like social studies. So, this week was science, and this we did today. So, she has it here. Uh, but let me show you. I we couldn't uh, do this because we didn't have time and. It's just coloring, identifying the color words and coloring the pictures, so it's not a big deal. She did a lot of coloring this week anyways. So I picked different stuff online. Twistednoodle.com. <laughs> Never heard of it. Just picked the, the pictures. I see five snowflakes. She count them. Of course, she can count to five, but it was mostly for the handwriting. Then we did this together because she just got tired of it. It was all the way to 78 yes and we she built a snowflake so I helped her like halfway there she just pointed at me the numbers and I would just move the pencil um, this is the first thing we did is a little picture of the water cycle and we looked at it along with the poster over there on the floor which is stood here on the floor and she explained this to her daddy when he came back home the only thing I added to the picture was this and I added more snowflakes and the the drops that weren't there. So yeah, I explained this to her. It was this was pretty easy to learn for her. She 
explain it back to me and then she explained it to her daddy uh, I picked this from a small workbook that she has I just ripped the pages and I give it to her and she just had to cut the the rectangles and put them in order there were little numbers on the back she had to put them in order so this one is first second third and fourth and then she wrote winter for the winter uh, this I'm gonna glue it on the front of the folder then all different type of snowflakes so I just wrote her um, I wrote to her the 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 names I wrote them and then I read to her all the names of the snow different kind of snowflakes she picked the funny one the the prettiest one the the weirdest one <laughs> And then after that, I made this little activities to learn how to draw a snowflake. And then she did her, all her tries at the bottom. So this was a fun activity. And we did learn a little bit about um, the penguins because of course they live in the snow. So I printed this out and then I added the little bubbles so she can write the, the names of the body parts. And we did a shelf activity with that. And then I printed this out to do all the snowflakes. I just cut the little squares and circles and then she built the snowflakes. Well, we did it together. Um, and they're all up there on the wall. <laughs> and then on the bottom, we finished our class from health from last time we did it. And she drew all this uh, different type of food from the food groups. I just wrote the numbers here so she knows the numbers for the groups and then she just drew different kinds of food for each group. So we did that and then for music we have an activity on the shelf. For art we're gonna do complementary pairs of colors we didn't get to that. In computer we didn't do anything this week. The bottom drawer is Spanish. I can show you the curriculum maybe another time because there are a lot of books and stuff so let me start showing you what I have on the wall uh, of course all of the snowflakes they came out pretty cute I love them then I just wrote snow um, I just spelled snow with these letters I had this printed out my husband printed out for me for the three of us so I just put it here and then the poster from the Dollar Tree she loved this poster she took like half an hour looking at it and explaining to me and asking me questions so we just looked at this poster for a while and then this is a uh, little activity mat that I have for her for different types of uh, animal habitats so I just put it here and then a little card so someone gave to me I put it here because yes there's penguins and then all the decoration you know the penguins snow this little snowflake uh, tray so yeah a little bit of decoration there that's Olaf and the snowman this is an art activity that we did I bought this at the Dollar Tree oh no it was Michael's I believe but it was 99 cents and she decorated them with a 3d or like puffy paint she painted it white and then she decorated it and then this is a little I don't know how they call it in English I think it's tic-tac-toe game and it has a little snowman or yes yeah, little snowman so I put it here so we can play a game and then up here I have in this little container different type of uh, weather things like sun where there's a little bird a cloud there's some um, water this one I made it myself because there weren't any and then some raindrops um, so she played a little bit with that. That's a decoration from the tree. The snowflakes that we made, I made this one, she made this one, and then we made this one together. And then this is snow experiment from the Dollar Tree. Make your own snow. It was pretty fun, but the snow is really sticky. It doesn't, I mean, it looks like snow, but it doesn't feel like snow. And then we looked at it with a magnifying glass. Up here we have animals that like snow, animals that don't like snow and she has to like put them in different groups just the different animals 
we did that today. She liked it. She did it like for five, ten minutes, and then we talked about it, and that's it. And then up here I have like three part cards, but I only did it two parts, which is the picture and the words, and all the different types of water. So that's clouds, that's ocean, hail, river, rain, snow, ice, icicles, and steam. So, and there are all the words to match with that. Then here we have all the different parts of the body of the penguin. And we did these activities with this little body here, Mambo from Happy Feet Movie, along with the activity from uh, over here that I showed you about the penguin. Well, we can find it out. Uh, and then I have these little jars. This represents steam or cloud, vapor, and stuff like that. This represents the water. I had a little food coloring for fun. And this represents either ice or snow. They're just little plastic things that I bought once for my DIYs videos and stuff. And I just used it for that. And then on the bottom, for practical life, we have... Oh, as you can tell, I'm using all the top part of the shelves for our weekly topic to learn. So I moved the practical life activities down here. And this pretty self-explanatory. She had all these bunches of seeds and stuff and I just put them on this area. And then she had to use her little, um, her little broom and, you know, sweep them into this little rectangle inside and then put them back in here. It was a little messy, but she's working on it. So I think I'm gonna keep this activity here for the next week. She's also learning how to tie her own shoelaces. So I picked this little thread and I pulled this from the Dollar Tree. So I first taught her how to, you know, lace the shoelaces and then how to tie the shoelaces. So we did three times and there are some more laces she wants to keep working on it. She really liked this. She really wants to get that down. She wants to learn how to do it right away. <laughs> um, for music, we did this little activity. Um, Safaria TD sent me this and three other tubes to review in my Spanish channel. So I might do a review here in this channel. Um, so I just wrote the numbers, not the numbers, the name of the all the musical instruments. Um, the tube doesn't bring a piano. This was a toy from my daughter's dollhouse, so I just put it here. It's very nice. I mean, it's very nice detail and everything. It has a little rose. Uh, she had a little accordion as well, so I put it here. And then I made, and I can't believe it, she just, she took it. Yes, I made a little drum. Yes, oh my god, I really wanted to show it to you. I, I'm really proud of myself. <laughs> Um, I might show you next time in another video, just so that you you know. Um, it's a little drum that I made for her because there weren't any like percussion uh, instruments here. So there are all the instruments, and um, oh, I'm bummed that she took she took um she she really liked it, so she took it for her to play with her dolls. Since we were done with it, she just took it for her. Anyway, so the names are here. I just made these little cards from cardstock and I just wrote the, the names and she just matched them up um, on the carpet. Then we're working with the knot cylinders. I'm just pulling one at a time and explaining to her large and small and to feel the difference. I mean, she knows large and small, medium, stuff like that. But then the other knot cylinders are thick to, to thin. So I explained to her thick you know, thinner and thinnest, or thin, thin, thickest, and I'm, th I'm sorry, thin, thicker, and thickest, and so on. And then there's also another knot cylinder set that's called short to tall, and all tall to shortest. And there's another one now, another one more. I don't know what the other one is, I don't remember right now. So we just take one at a time. And then since we're learning about not learning actually, I mean reviewing all things that have to do with shapes. I just pulled this blue triangles from Montessori, pull it out to make like different shapes with this triangle. 
um, she really liked that. And then on the bottom here, another practical life activities. It was from a quiet book, a baby quiet book that had missing pieces. So I just make them myself with like some felt. So it's got different shapes of flowers and I cut them in the middle so she can learn how to but you know button them up. Um, and on the bottom has some more stuff like a buckle. She has to unbuckle it. A zipper. This is just to feel and touch different surface, you know, surfaces. This is more of a like a baby stuff, but she can still do it. And this is another activity to lace the laces and the shoes and then tie them up. And then on the bottom there are two miss missings. This just snaps buttons. They just snap and of course you have to match the colors and then this also the shapes you match the shape with velcro and then tell time so it's just a little bit of fun actually only two or three activities from here she's actually learning then we have our Montessori mobile alphabet, uh, movable alphabet that I made myself in case we need it for an activity and then we have the I want to say Matthew C counting rods or blocks or cubes I don't know the name I have a video for each of these and I'm gonna link them down below in the description box if you haven't watched them yet and then here's some uh, fun activities for her to do when we're done for the day she can just remain here and work on some stuff she really liked this game we also worked with the pink tower. We did different um, different lessons with it. She, some lessons that she we never tried before. And then to the next shelf was mostly language and ma and math. We have this activities here. I have um, this is from a workbook. So I just cut out the pages. I laminate them with packing tape. And she has to write on top with a dry erase marker the the short sound vowel that belongs there that's missing. So this is for the letter E, this one for the letter I, and then letter U, letter O, letter A, and this is for the double O and the O and the U. So yeah, she did that for since we reviewing her um, the short sounds for the vowels. So we also did this game on the mat. Um, just put all the cards out and I arranged them all all over the mat. All of the cards have short vowel sounds in them and their names like mop, lamp, set, map box, log, and fan, web, bug, pig, king. I put this two that have long um, vowel sounds and just to trick her. <laughs> and in the dice that I made myself, it has a question mark. So we use the question mark for this. And um, what we did, let me just do a little small demonstration for this. So we had all the cards laying down and all, she just rolled the dice and it was an ah. So can you find a picture that has the ah sound? Okay, here it is. Find the uppercase for the lowercase u. Here it is, so she'll put it on the pictures. And then on the whiteboard, we had these bubbles. <laughs> with the vowels and then we had to write the whatever word that we had to write so we wrote bug this is the short sound so we had this game and she really really enjoyed it like when she first saw all the pictures laying down she was like oh this is gonna be long but then once we started playing she really liked it and then she liked it that i that i tricked her with this <laughs> she's like oh mom this is not a short sound <laughs> That was so cute. So she really liked that. And then months and meses, which is months in Spanish. And I did this. I just print them out. I used the uh, word 
to do that I printed all the Spanish ones in blue and the English one in red in, in red yes and then she just had to arrange them in order all the the months and I did this mat by myself just marker and a ruler and that's it so she arranged the months and the messes in order and then since we're doing reviewing shapes she did a lot of patterns with this uh, she has some fruits animals yeah, mostly animals and fruits. There's a penguin for a social, I mean, for science activity. <laughs> so she worked on that with patterns. And then this is a little puzzle from the Dollar Tree. But don't tell me it doesn't look much, much more prettier in this little tray than in a box. <laughs> so she did this puzzle. Uh, it's a shapes puzzle, shapes and colors. It's a pretty easy one. I think it has like 25 pieces or something. This one uh, about shapes. And we have all the names of the shapes here. And then all the shapes cards that I made myself in, with using Word. And um, then I have some of the shapes. I think there's like three or four of them that I don't have. And I use this little toy. It's a baby toy. But she'll match the, the shapes like that. And then look for the the word for the shape and she did that this activity on the mat as well um, next shelf was an addition activity this is from confessions of a homeschooler and these cards I got for free at the giveaway table from the co-op that I go to so we're just using our Matthew C blocks here we just say zero plus zero does nothing these cards are color coded, so these ones are all the same numbers 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 3 plus 3, and so on. And we want to focus more on addition, but she knows how to subtract already. But we did addition this week, and then patterns. So I have this little silverware organizer, and I, and I don't use it for that, I use it for our shelf activities, and I have different shapes. So cylinders, circles, squares, or actually cubes, spheres, cylinders, and this oval shape. And then I just made this little card with different patterns. So it's an A, B, A, B, A, B pattern, and A, A, B, A, A, B pattern, A, B, C, A, B, C, and A, B, B, A, B, B, A. And I gave her all these little laces. So she just took one lace at a time and she made one pattern at a time. She really loved this activity because we did something similar at the co-op with her math and Spanish class and she really liked it. So she did this. And then last but not least, actually this is not last. This is a puzzle and another free activity that I leave on the bottom in case when we're done she wants to stay in school, she wants to do something else, she can work on this puzzle on her own. And when I say last but not least, it's a um, sensory bin that I'm still working on because it's a special activity for Friday. So once I'm done with this video, I'm going to go and arrange that and I'm going to record a video separate to show it to you. So stay tuned, I might upload that maybe on Sunday. This is it for this video. As you know, these are long videos because I have a lot of stuff to show you. And I'm really glad that I got to record again this video. This is the first week that we do school after vacation for, you know, all the holidays. So I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any questions or any suggestions that you want to give to me, let me know. And I'll see you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.